best friend. Hey you guys welcome to the video so today i wanted to talk to you guys about your first shipment going into amazon fba if you are interested in doing that or if you are trying to get started and you are kind of spooked out by everything that amazon um does and what you hear and things like that so i am going to be very honest with you amazon is a totally different beast from any of the other platforms that i've tried like ebay um poshmark um thread up and things like that it's just it's it's totally different so you're gonna have to be on your p's and q's they do have a university a seller's university you want to read that you want to make sure that you're getting the newsletters and reading those um whenever they send them out just to be abreast on everything that's going on a lot of times the forums can be a little scary but it's good to read through them to find answers that you want um so when you're first starting out with doing an fba shipment for your very first shipment you guys you need to make sure that your products are as light as possible so if you're ungated, you're usually going to be starting out, you're not going to really be ungated in like grocery or clothing because like I've been selling on Amazon for a while. So when I first started out, I didn't have to worry about being ungated. It was just like, you want to sell clothes, you can sell clothes. You want to sell groceries, you can sell groceries. So I started out selling, um, I sold like books. I started out selling books. I kind of got into a little bit of clothing, not a lot. And then I started selling grocery. So what you want to do if you are sending in a shipment, you want to look for those lighter items just to start out. Because if you look for the more heavier items, that's going to eat up your profits, you know, with storage because you want to make sure those items are moving quickly. So if they're not moving quickly, your profits are going to be eaten up by um, storage fees and um, weight. So when you're shipping, you know, they do give you a good rate. But the heavier the, heavier the box is, the more you're going to have to pay out. So you want to keep that in mind. And then you also want to keep in mind to um when they're shipping when they're picking and packing your um your inventory once it gets there you're going to have to um take that into consideration too with the weight and everything all right so that's why i say keep them as light as possible so when you are first um starting out your shipment i would say you want to do, I'm trying to think of a category that you probably won't be, you will be ungated off the rip. Would probably be something, because like I said, like I did like CDs and things, like when I first got started and none of that stuff was um, gated. So maybe like books or something like that. So I would go with the more lighter manuals. Um, if you were, if you were to get ungated in grocery, I would go with something like, you know, you have your light snacks and bags, um, like cheese nips, things like that. Things that are going to be light and small. You want to keep that into, you want to take that into consideration to make sure the items are going to be really as, as small as possible. Now I'm not saying, you know, you there are other things that come into play along with the weight and size. So, you know, you want to make sure that rank is good and it's so much that's involved in, in, in this game with the FBA because you want to make sure the rank is good. It's a selling product and it's just so much, but there's a lot of different programs out there. I am in a um, Facebook group called um, Amazon Sellers forum the guy's name that's in charge his name is jim cochran it's a really great group if you want to get into that group they help you out a lot um, with your questions and they do have a pac course which is called the proven amazon course that you can take to um, 
you know, get started. They have, once you get in, in, ungated in groceries, they have a um, course that you can get in for replans if you want to go that route. I've been kind of like in Amazon for a minute now, so I kind of like already know what to look for and what to not go for. So, um, I'm pretty good on that aspect, but it's always good to jump in there and, you know, ask questions, different questions. And Amazon is constantly changing every single day. So it's good to stay abreast on, you know, what's going on. You can either do it in those groups like that on Facebook or they have the sellers forum on Amazon itself, or you can just, you know, go through the seller university. So it's just a lot of different ways, but I've just been hearing a lot of people that's getting started and they're saying um, they're not making any money because Amazon is eating up all of their um, profits. And that's why you have to, um, once you, when you first getting started, you have to make sure that your products are light and you know that they're moving. Th those are the two key things I would say make sure they're light and that they are moving there's a lot of good there's a lot of different um things out there that can help you um to make sure that those products are gonna move one is called keepa you want to go and check that out it's a extension on chrome that you can use you can actually buy a premium program to get started in that if you want to um there's a lot to learn with Keepa, but once you use that, you can kind of pretty much see what, how that product is moving. And if Amazon is on it, there's so many different factors that goes into um, selling on Amazon. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. It's not just, you know, get a whole bunch of stuff and send it in. You know, you got to know exactly what items you're going to send in and you got to make sure those items are going to move. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know below and I can help you on, you know, point you in the direction of, you know, getting started with, you know, you can kind of ask me, is this product or, you know, and things like that. And I will kind of help you out researching that product. All right. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because I want you guys to make money. I don't want you guys to just, you know, give up because, you know, that first shipment didn't work out right. You still have to just keep going, even though you made a mistake because you didn't know. So just keep going, just keep going. And then you will get, you will eventually get the hang of it. Cause like I said, when I first started out, um, there were there were a few groups out there, but, you know, I didn't use those groups. So I kind of like, um, I kind of like, you know, dibbled and dabbled and listened to different people that were doing it at that time. And again, reading the Amazon Seller Centro and just asking questions that way. All right. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. So don't be afraid. Jump in there. Um, things happen, but you just have to stay the course, you know, and make it.